Hey, what's going on guys? Simpson Skater here and today we have some Black Sky gameplay with one of the new weapons, the RVN in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I grinded out Black Sky on the weapon the past few days. I had a lot of experience with it and I thought it'd be cool to show off the Black Sky camo on the weapon as well as a couple of other camos that I think look really good on it in this video with some gameplay to uh, showcase some of the strengths off. The gameplay isn't anything too special because I didn't really want to spend the extra time to get a crazy gameplay because I want this to go up Thursday night. I still don't know if that's going to happen, but that's the goal. So if you guys have been living under a rock, Infinite Warfare added three new weapons into the game this week with an update. And the way they added these weapons into the game is awesome. You unlock them via challenges the only one that's blocked behind a supply drop is the axe melee weapon so if you have infinite warfare updated the way you get the rvn is what you have to do is get 200 kills with an energy assault rifle so either the wreck the type 2 or the volk and you have to have a weapon prestige accessory equipped to that energy rifle. So you have to at least prestige one of those energy weapons at least once. Then once you get those 200 kills, you get the base RVN unlocked for you. Another way to get the weapon, which is the way that I got it, is if you're a season pass holder for Infinite Warfare, they just give it to you for free, which is a nice little bonus to get. But what the RVN is, is it is a two-shot burst energy assault rifle. It shoots relatively quickly. And uh, one thing that a lot of people may not know is that you can hold down the trigger for a full auto burst cycle. So you don't have to spam the trigger button over and over again. However, I've only found the full auto burst useful in frantic situations where I need to get that kill quickly. I've noticed that I get a more accurate burst out of my weapon when I just press the trigger to the speed of the burst. The little extra fire I think gives it enough kick just to mess up some of your shots at a range so I recommend just tapping the trigger if uh, you are going to use this weapon. But this weapon does have a built-in reticle which is pretty useful. It's easy to get headshots with. I find it perfectly fine which frees up one of those class points for you to use on something else in your class. And overall the assault rifle portion of the weapon is effective at a, I'd say it's most effective at a medium range. It, you can get picks at a long range but the medium range is this weapon's sweet spot. And you're always going to be getting two shot kills with this weapon unless you use the headshot attachments which we'll talk about later on. But there is another portion to this weapon you may see in the gameplay is you can toggle, press the Y button or the triangle button to toggle the weapon into melee mode. You take the assault rifle apart, kind of like the Type 2, and you get these two like heart shocker, the things where they're like clear and then they shock your heart, and they're one hit melee kills, and you also run faster when you have these melee portions of the RVN out. Which is pretty cool because this weapon is designed to be a jack of all trades weapon. You have the assault rifle mode for the long and mid range combat, and then when you're in close quarters combat, you can switch to the melee mode and knock people out. The only problem that I really have with this weapon is that the switch between the melee mode and the assault rifle mode is a bit slow. I've definitely gotten killed mid switch before, so if they could speed that up just a little bit, that'd be fantastic. But the weapon, it, it is useful in pretty much all situations. Um, one last cool thing I want to mention real quick is there is a design to this weapon. It has like a feather or eagle feather or wing, whatever you want to call it, like engraved into the sides of the weapon. So most camos are designed to take on this engraving. And it looks really cool with single colored camos. I'm going to be showcasing a couple of those camos I like real quick. Like the whiteout camo and some of the quartermaster single colored camos, the ones that aren't too busy with designs and stuff they look fantastic on this weapon and i kind of wish that black sky solar diamond those camos that take over the entire gun would adhere to this feather engraving because it looks really really good i think that looked pretty cool it's a nice unique design to the weapon because we don't really see too many designs like this in call of duty games i can think of it in other games but usually it's like it just takes over the full gun so i'd like to see more weapons like that in the future and if you're listening to treyarch and not treyarch infinity ward i think that'd be something really good to uh invest your time into but overall the rvn is a pretty good weapon i would put it up there with the nv4 and the k-bar in their base forms as an assault rifle what i really like about this weapon it has a built-in reticle 
and it doesn't have much recoil. It's very strong by itself. So all of those free up class points that you can use in other aspects of your class, which is fantastic. And speaking of class, the one recommendation I do have for this gun is to use the Faraday Slug, which is the headshot multiplier attachment. And like I mentioned earlier, this allows for you to get one shot kills when you hit the head which is pretty amazing and you can build around that play style with the decisions you decide to build your class with and you can also incorporate that melee kill so again it's i really like the weapon because it frees up so many class points it has like the built-in combat knife for it, the reticle there's no recoil you don't need grip it regens ammo so you may not want to use sleight of hand or you may want to use the fusion mag so you don't have to use scavenger there's a lot of options that you can build around with this weapon and that's what i really like it's a pretty solid jack of all trades weapon so that's about it for me if you guys have the rvn unlocked let me know what you think of it down below in the comments is it good is it bad do you agree with my points whatever i think it's a really good weapon i can't wait to unlock the udm but with that guys thanks for watching i'm sinister skater be sure to subscribe to future gaming call duty content if you guys are not already like the video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it i'm sinister skate i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out